can we all agree as an audience that the sombrero is the most racist hat in history? Ever. <laughs> Ever invented. Just the sheer existence of it. Oh. You know it wasn't invented by Mexican people. It was people. clearly created by white people. Uh, Probably brothers for the purpose of this impression. Uh, uh, two guys who work at just a racist hat company. You know, yeah. racist, just kicking around racist ideas about hats. Hey, uh, you know, look, we know these people are going to fall asleep during the day outside in the sun instead, instead of, of working. Yeah, we need a brim that's going to cover that up so they don't get sunburned. I'm We're thinking, thinking about th them. Exactly. I don't know why people are mad at us. Um, is that racist? Enough? I don't think that's racist. What enough. if you put a divot in the top of it, put guacamole? Chips, in chips around the outside. Around, chips get chips it. going around the outside. So it's like an edible racism. Yeah. Is that cool? I don't know if that's racist enough. I've got it. What if the hats could float? Put babies in it and swim across the border. Boom. I love it. Love it. Are we calling lunch? No, no. We got one more hat on the Okay, docket. what is it? It is an Armenian hat. Yep. It is made out of sweatpants. I love it. Uh, in the shape of a mustache? In the shape of a mustache, and it tries to sell you a rug. I love All it. Right. Now we're going Now lunch. I'm calling lunch. Wait, wait, wait. I've got one. It's a Chinese hat in the shape of a walk made out of tiny penises. Uh... Can you put some lead in it and call it a toy for kids? Boom. And now now I'm calling lunch. Call lunch. Lunch it is.